So listen, there was another movie, animated film, that's coming out here pretty soon that I had a chance to go see yesterday, and that was How to Train Your Dragon 3. The first two How to Train Your Dragons have been off the charts good, like surprisingly good, off the charts good, so entertaining, so great. So we go to see the third one, and I'm telling you what, much like the Lego movie, I did not like this How to Train Your Dragon as much as the other two. However, the gap in my opinion, between this one and the other two was this small. This is an excellent film. It has all the heart of the other two. It has all the charm of the other two. It's, got, it's extremely endearing, right, the right humor in the right parts. The action and the, the cinematography, it's weird using that word with, with animated films, <laughs> right. with the dragons and everything, wonderfully done. And they have been advertising this movie as the final chapter. And oh my God, they end it so well. The last, now this is my third favorite of the three How to Train Your Dragon films, but the final 15 minutes or so might be my favorite 15 minutes out of the entire franchise and series. It has ended so perfectly and so beautifully. Now you guys all know what the premise is from the, from the trailer. Of course, Hiccup's dad is now gone, who's voiced by Gerard Butler, and now he's the chief of Burke, and now there's another new threat coming, and, but this one's a little more dire, and they have to take some drastic measures. They go looking for this lost world of the dragons, where they want to ship all the dragons and bring all of Burke to, to live in isolation and safety, and Hiccup's now got this quest to do that. Introducing into that, Toothless isn't the last Night Fury. And we see that in the trailer. There's, an, there's another light, uh, Night Fury as well. That comes in, into play. But again, I still think I got a little bit more out of the first two. But the gap between them and this one is, is infinitely small. They have rounded out their trilogy beautifully. This is a fun movie to watch. This is an emotionally satisfying movie to watch. And it is a movie that brings the story to a beautiful conclusion that I just ate up and adored. So, I gotta tell you, I, I going into this, I would have told you, John, what do you think you're gonna like better, Lego Movie 2 or How to Train Dragon 3? I would have said Lego Movie 2, but I'm telling you, is I'm going with how, how to Train Your Dragon 3. This is the one, if you gotta pick one out of these animated films, and of course, we live in a great world where you get to go see both of them, but if you had to just pick one, I'm gonna say go see How to Train Your Dragon 3. Both of them are good, but How to Train Your Dragon 3 is great. And I had a wonderful time with it, and I think you will too. Were, are you a fan of the other? How I am. I, I I love the first two, so I can't wait to see this. I mean, I think it's going to be great. And if they stick the landing, that's all I want. I want to see, you know. Ashley, nice... have you watched uh, any of the other How to Train Your Dragon movies? No, but now I want to. I haven't They're, seen any of them. They are yeah. great. They're surprisingly good. And I remember thinking, okay, How to Train Your Dragon, it's not a Pixar film, so right. how good can it be? And it's great. And then the sequel comes out, and it might even be better. And now this third one, maybe not quite as good, but they stick the landing. I can go home and watch my 3D Blu-ray. Oh, of course you can. And dragon. you should, guys should get into that kind of stuff.